Hi there, Sophia here. Thank you for stopping by. Today I have got loads of things to share with you. I'm very excited because I love everything I'm going to tell you about. All kinds of beauty products, which are hair and makeup and skincare. And I'm going to start with the number one absolute favorite find of the month is Tarte Dab and Go Root Concealer. This has been such a game changer. I haven't done my hair color in a month. You would not know that I have about an inch growth on either side. I'm going to show you in the picture. The application is tremendous. It's in a little sponge. The product is inside. The container is beautiful, this rose gold. You just twist it, you grab your hairline, and you dab it on. Not only does it cover your gray, it makes your hair look thicker. You can use it up here, and you've got some gray on the sides. You can just dab there really quickly, or if your hair is thinning out on the sides, it is so fast to do this. I dry my hair, I style it, and then when I'm just about ready to go, I just dab it onto the roots. It covers instantly. It has Amazonian clay, not talc, argan oil, and grapeseed oil. All good ingredients, and under a minute you can do your roots and be out the door. The next hair items that I want to talk to you about is this line of Amica shampoo, conditioner, hair oil, and overnight treatment. It's called the Hydra Rush. It is spectacular. The smell is divine. It has squalane. It has hyaluronic acid. So many good things for your hair. It does not strip my hair color at all. It leaves it shiny, bouncy, and most of all, what it does is it replenishes all the moisture into my dry ends because my ends get very dry even though there's a lot of humidity in Florida. The ends dry out because I have highlights and that's got bleach and that dries out the hair strand. There's no way around that. So I use the shampoo and then I follow up with the conditioner. The conditioner is very thick. I run it into my fingers and then just go right along the lengths and make sure everything is nicely saturated in it. Leave it on for about a minute, rinse out, and my hair is beautifully conditioned. But to add to that, at night, what I love to do is if my hair is looking frizzy or feeling extra dry or I just did my highlights and it needs more hydration, I use this. You can use this every night. And this is the Amica Dream Routine Overnight Hair Treatment. And it gives you four times more moisture by the morning. It truly makes your hair gorgeous. And it does not stay in your pillow. I sleep with a silk pillowcase. It does not transfer on. It just stays in your hair, moisturizes it, conditions it, and you wake up with beautiful hair. I absolutely love this. Another hair product that I am reaching for all the time is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil. And this is to protect your hair from heat. A fine mist comes out, I run it through the ends, and then I dry my hair with just a rough dry. I have a great hair dryer that dries my hair under five minutes. I can link that down below as well. The next thing I wanna to talk to you about are skin products. The number one thing that I have loved this month are these first aid radiance pads. This has lactic acid in it and it has glycolic acid. In the morning when I wake up, I use Retin-A at night with a nice moisturizer over it so that my skin doesn't get irritated. Then in the morning, the first thing I do is splash my face with water, dry it gently, and then I go in with one of these pads. This comes 60 to a container. You just need one pad for everything in the morning. One side of this has an exfoliating, bumpy area. I go over my face with that. I go down my neck. I go on my chest. And what's left, I go on the backs of my hands. Every area is covered. Then I flip it and I usually find remnants of some makeup, maybe some sunscreen that I didn't get even in the double cleanse the night before. Then I flip it over to the soft side and very gently go over one more time all the areas and then just toss it. This has been the very best thing I discovered this month, this year actually. I'm thrilled with it. I'm happy that they sell refills as well because I'm gonna be using this every day. I just know it, I love it so much. The next step in my skincare regime in the morning is this vitamin C. I had been using vitamin C years ago. I stopped because I was trying to simplify my skincare routine in the morning and at night. And then I realized that I was missing out on a big thing because vitamin C, especially when it's combined with ferulic acid, is extremely brightening to the skin. It really tightens those pores. It refines the skin and it just gives you an extra oomph for your sunscreen to work 
properly and effectively. Anywhere you live with the depletion of the ozone layer, the number one thing you're going to want to do is wear a sunscreen. And I think most dermatologists, that's all they talk about is sunscreen protection. This is the timeless one. This is affordable. It's beautifully packaged in a pump and opaque so it doesn't go bad. The smell is not great, but I heard all vitamin C's are like that. I've been using this for a week and I really, I'm not exaggerating, I feel I have seen a difference in my skin. It could be the combination of all the things I'm using, but this is something else I'm never going to leave out of my skincare routine. I use this in the morning. I follow this with this, and then I put in this, which is another discovery, which I'm not going back to just buying the snail mucin. I'm buying this one now because it has a moisturizer and the snail mucin in it. It has that same kind of sticky, weird thing that it has, but boy, it leaves your skin so radiant and so incredibly beautifully shiny in a luminous way. It's very hydrating. And then I follow up with the sunscreen. The sunscreen that I'm loving these days is one that I just received that I had ordered called St. Jane. It is so gorgeous. It's tinted, but it really provides no coverage. I love that when you put it on, it sinks right into your skin, but gives it a pore blurring effect. And it's not thick, like a lot of sunscreens are so thick and so opaque. This is mineral, by the way. Ingredients in this that make it so very special, and it smells beautiful as well. This is an SPF 30. It has desert rose, jasmine, and hibiscus. Our sheer invisible texture melts into your skin beautifully, and it blurs the look of pores. It's desert rose, jasmine, and hibiscus, visibly smooth and calm sensitive and breakout prone complexions. I have a sensitive complexion. I have had no issues with this and I just love this. This is definitely a must buy for me because I use sunscreen every day, even when I'm at home. My house has lots of windows and the sunlight is everywhere. The other thing that I am loving for my skin is this e.l.f. E.l.f. is astounding me with all the products they're coming up with. Everything that I've been trying lately of e.l.f. has been a winner in my book. And this one is spectacular. This is their Power Grip Primer. When I want to make my skin look really good if I'm going to something special, I will put this all over before I go in with my foundation. I like to use a very light foundation. I don't like thick foundations. I don't like cream or stick foundations. The lightweight ones are my favorites, especially if they provide coverage. I'm not going to put a heavy foundation on my face because it is extremely aging and drying and will settle into any little fine lines and I'll look 10 years older. This is a fantastic gripper to put underneath your foundation. The foundation I'm in love with, I have two I'm going to share with you, is the L'Oreal Infallible. The color that I have is 202. I hope they never discontinue this. This is the 24-hour one. It's beautiful, and this is the exact, exact shade of my skin. I was shocked when I found it. I just thrilled, actually, because when I put it on, it has such a beautiful light finish, and it covers, like I have green veins in my hands. Look how beautifully it covered that. It's just amazing the coverage you get out of this little tooth. It's so lightweight. It's not sticky. I never powder down. It's not necessary really with this. I always spray my face afterwards just to kind of lock in the moisture, but this is glowy and beautiful without being overly shiny. The other one that I'm in love with is this Tower Beauty, which this one has SPF in it. This one does not. This is SPF 30, so I do wear this during the daytime if I want more coverage than with this sunscreen, which is very pretty, but this provides no coverage. If I'm going out and I want my skin to look glowy and luminous and very even toned, the color that I got, 15 Melrose, and it is really beautiful on. This has good coverage as well. I'll show you on this hand. But when I wore this the other day, my daughter said, wow, your skin's glowing. It's so pretty. And it was this. You see the glow on that? I love it. And it's clean as well. The other thing for makeup that I am loving, two things for the eyes, and that's it for makeup. And this one is the NARS Brightening Cream. This one is called Night Swan. I love the name of it. It's the perfect brightening for under your eyes. I just take a little bit on my ring finger, dab it right in here, dab, 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 dab and it brightens beautifully. I grab a little bit more and put it right here and right here. 
and right in the inner corners. Sometimes I don't put anything else on. I just go out with this because it's that brightening. I don't need concealer. But if it's a makeup day where I really want to look polished, I'll go in with the concealer over this and it works beautifully with the concealer. The next step in my eye makeup is this Rare Beauty and it is the primer for the eyelid. It's beautiful. It cancels out all your veins, our discoloration, I actually am not sure if I told you about this before in another video, but it bears repeating. It is so beautiful. It's a light peachy color and it locks in the shadow. I put this on all over my lid. I brush a very thin translucent powder. I use the Laura Mercier for that. And then I go in with my shadows and it stays on. This locks it in and it gives it a beautiful finish. And it also, it seems to have like a blurring effect so for any little fine lines. It's just beautiful. The last thing I want to tell you about is La Roche-Posay Lipicar Balm. I'm all the way at the end of it, so there's nothing pumping out. So I have to kind of get in here and dig in. I want to show you, see how thick that is? If you're having very dry skin in the winter, I just spent two weeks up in New York. There was a lot of dry air up there. I'm used to humidity in Florida. It was dry. The heating dries your skin out. So I was only using Retin-A every other day. And the following day when I was slugging my skin, I would put a thick coat of this and really work it in nicely into my skin. And I would follow that with some aquaphor or castor oil that I would rub between my hands and just press into my skin. And that saved my skin. I had no peeling, no flaking. And really, it felt very, very pampered. And it's a really indulgent treatment. And this is so reasonable for everything you're getting in here. 13.52 fluid ounces, extra dry skin, body and face, intense repair moisturizing cream, up to 48 hour hydration to reduce dry rough skin. I've seen many celebrities talking about this, that this is their go-to and it's my go-to as well. I hope you found a product that you love here. I'm thrilled with everything I showed you today. I highly recommend all of it. Check it down below. I'm gonna also have it on my Amazon storefront. I will link everything. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm thrilled to have you in my audience and please subscribe. If you like this content, let me know what you like out of here or if you like it, give it a thumbs up and I will see you on the next video. Bye now.